According to the Thomas Kilman conflict model, we each have a natural approach to managing conflict. The Kilman model identifies two dimensions when choosing a course of action in a conflict situation. These are assertiveness and cooperativeness. Assertiveness is the extent to which you try to satisfy your own needs. Cooperativeness is the degree to which you try to satisfy other person's needs and concerns. From the Thomas Kilman dimensions of assertiveness and cooperativeness arise five conflict handling modes. One, avoiding, i.e. sidestepping the conflict. Two, accommodating, trying to satisfy the other person's concerns at expense of your own. Three, compromising, trying to find an acceptable resolution that only partially satisfies the needs and concerns of the parties. Four, competing, trying to satisfy your concerns at the expense of other parties. And five, collaborating, trying to find a win-win solution which completely satisfies the needs and concerns of all parties. The model suggests that we tend to have a preferred conflict style or mode that we approach conflict situations with a specific intention or mindset, which may or may not be the most effective. So when do we use each different conflict style? Different situations demand a different approach to resolving conflict. Let's explore further. Competing. This is appropriate when quick, decisive action is needed. This is also effective when there are important but unpopular issues at stake and where there isn't a right way. Avoiding. This is appropriate when faced with more trivial issues. It's also appropriate when there is no chance of getting what you want. And it's helpful when the potential risk of confrontation outweighs the benefits of resolution. Compromising. This is most effective when there are moderately important goals, but not worth the potential disruption of taking a more assertive stance. It works well when there are two equally strong parties committed to their own interests and needs. It expedites the time to resolve the conflict and move forward. It can back up competing and collaborating modes. Collaborating. This is appropriate when both sets of concerns are too important to be compromised. It needs insights from different perspectives. It increases others' commitment to solutions as stakes are higher. It's effective for longer term and major issues, especially where relationships are likely to be ongoing. Accommodating. This is appropriate when the issue is much more important to the other party. It's effective when limiting damage of continued conflict it's important in situations where you want to bank goodwill, and it's the right approach when you are in the wrong. Thinking about the five conflict resolution styles we've explored in this lesson, consider the following questions. Do you recognize a tendency to assume a particular style in conflict situations? If so, how effective has that style been in creating win-win outcomes for you?